Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are at our ranger base or ranger station that the Patriarch gave us. And we are going to check out what's around here. So let's check the container. There's a brick master key, okay. And then there's a prisoner here. Let's talk to him. The prisoner. Waving at you through the bars of a cell is a pale, rail-thin man with matted hair and fraying, faded clothes. He gives you a lazy, glassy-eyed grin. Hey, dudes. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before. Have I? Uh, we're the Rangers. This is going to be our new headquarters. We're the new landlords. We're in charge here now. Uh, we're the Rangers. Rangers huh? Cool, man. Cool. I uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Uh, headquarters for what? Uh, we came here from Arizona to help the Patriarch. The Rangers help people. We're here to help Colorado. Sorry, that's top secret. Uh, hmm. I kind of want to say that it's top secret. So he doesn't go spreading the word. Oh, sure. Top secret. So you're part of some important organization, huh? You look like you're uh, real important, you know? I can see it in your pretty eyes. Do you have um, more people in your group? Uh, that's not something you need to know. We find some recruits, recruits from the area, and more joining soon. We actually got a couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. No more questions. How about some answers? Sorry, gotta go. Uh, we've got a couple of questions for you. No, no more questions. How about some answers? Oh yeah, man. Of course. I don't. I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. Okay. Uh, what's your name? How long have you been here? Why are you in there? What happened with this dead refugee? Do you want us to let you out? Kill the prisoner? Uh, what's your name? My name? Uh, yeah. Uh, Ned. Ned? Harry. Nick. Booger. Dickens. What? That guy is not all there. <laughs> Something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone uh, asked me about it. I... Okay. I kind of been here for a while. How long have you been here? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. Okay. How have you survived? Can you tell us about any of the groups that lived here before us? Yeah, sure, uh, maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him, you know? Kinda, kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. And people don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, okay. let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. Okay. Tell us about the dead guy. Oh man, that's uh, that's some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here, all nervous and uh, freaked out. And Starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine, and he falls down, and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like, it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Yeah, I bet. Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, 
Well, you came in. Okay. Well, she was, uh, she was a woman, dressed all raggedy, but, uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't, uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. We talked, um, for a bit, and then she left again. Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Hope she didn't die and she's haunting me for some reason. Though now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for company, you know. Okay. Oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. I think she said she was a traitor. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was going to deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, sure, because uh, I got no money. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to, uh, to say that. Okay, she doesn't seem like a nice lady. Uh, what do you mean by this fuzzy? It's, um, I've been here a long time, and I, and I ate a lot of mushrooms. I can't always remember <laughs> things that happened in the uh, olden days, but uh, I'll try. There was, and there was, um, and there was a gentleman bear, the lip licker, and uh, the bloody screamers, and uh, and them. Metal fellers, and, and the really white guy, and owl, uh, owl face. Oh, and the six wee men, and the lion. He is not making sense at all. But, uh, yeah, hard to remember who came in first, and uh, which ones were just a nursery rhyme my grandma told me, so. Um, we'll yeah, ask you yeah, about something else. Okay. Cool. Why are you in there? Because uh, the cell door is locked. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. That's <laughs> uh, no, not why we're, why we're, what we're asking. Why we're put in there. Yeah. Oh, man, didn't you like my joke? <laughs> okay, okay. I, well... So a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner friend, though, too, man. Like, former friend who decided he didn't, uh, want to go splitsies anymore. So he, uh, he conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man. Like, seriously. Yeah, I'd say so. How have you survived? No, man. I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta, uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. And, uh, you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Mushroom grow there, man. <laughs> So I added a little self, uh, self-made fertilizer. Those mushrooms are growing good. Okay. You've been living off wall water and mushrooms? Yeah, man, yeah. Yum, yum. Oh, yeah, and, uh, bugs, when they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. Wow. That was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Okay. Uh, what happened with this dead refugee? Oh, I. Uh... Didn't, uh, didn't we talk about this already? So a while ago, that dead guy oh, yeah. over there came running. And yeah, then there's this 
big ass minute yeah. for a while, all the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. Mm -hmm. Do you want us to let you out? Oh, man, yes, yes, please. Very much. <laughs> Thought so. I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. Okay. Mm. We'll see what we can do. No problems. Oh, I, I get it, man. No pressure, but uh, I sure appreciate it. So, uh, so long. Okay, so I'm a little bit wary about uh, playing with the computer here when he said that flashing lights came out of it. Things appears to be normal for the moment. Go through the logs, calling ancient messages and routine system notifications until you have a list of recent activations. OS wake initiated, wake complete, credentials rejected, credentials accepted, login, admin, password, admin, very secure. OS loading default admin operations, backup generators initialized. Automated security lockdown is initiated. Login required. Credentials rejected. Credentials rejected. OS station locking out user due to multiple failed login attempts. Terminal plays information about the base systems. Everything appears normal for the moment. Okay. All right. Well, we have the key. So there was. something in there if your squad's kills aren't high enough sometimes brute force will still work if your if your squad's skills aren't high enough sometimes brute force will still work to break down a door smack a misbehaving computer or forcefully shut down a power generator use the attack option in the quick bar or press left control there are certain objects such as vault doors or ice walls may require specific damage types to damage okay Let's check that out. Uh, some teeth, nice. Okay, there's a hat too. Why can't we get the hat? I want the hat. Any other doors we can open? No, except his. I think we'll come back to him. Uh, just look around, maybe someone else knows something about him that would be useful. Just up here. There's something in here. Whoa. Can we go out and close the door? No. Hmm. Okay, I guess we can't do that. So... I guess we'll go in and try and take him out. Razorbacks. Okay. Where'd the other one go? There's one there, there's one there. Alright, let's head over here. And... Ah, we can't shoot it now. Okay, combat started. Well, I guess we'll take you out. All right. There's the spine. Ow. Okay, can you shoot that thing? Seventy-two percent. It's almost dead. Okay. We got him. Wolverine fur, Wolverine pelt, and glowing ooze. Guess we'll loot everything and. Icy carapace shard. Okay. Uh, you. 
Let's use the med hypo. Ah, oh, shit. Wrong person. Wrong person. No! You use the med hypo. But he's still poisoned. I wonder how long that's gonna last. Hmm. Let's see, we had some other medical stuff. Uh, usable items. Uh, nitro spike. In injury kit used to remove any injuries the target character has. Let's try that. Because he's taking quite a bit of damage. Uh. Okay. That did it. Okay, uh, I think we'll put them the med hypo back and keep the other thing. Okay, what do we have in here? We have a computer. Can't really do anything with the other things. There's something over here. Some ammo, some money, and a photo. This will grab it all. Something upstairs too. Doesn't look like we can do anything with that. I guess that's the siren thing. Same as there. Okay, we can take a look at this over here. Fallen billboard. Who put it here? I don't know. Power on the machine resists your press, seemingly rusted in place. It makes a sandy crunch as it finally gives way. The screen comes to life with a sad beep. Raid failure. Corrupt, uh, corruption detected across multiple sectors. Initiating automated repair operations. Recovery complete. View recovered logs. Hmm. Read the old security logs. Filtering tools help you call the routine and wholly corrupted reports. You may need a computer expert to access some of the files. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of files. Report 001, classified information, purge initiated. Report 2, erasure complete, command cleared. Fully autonomous security system activating in T minus 30 minutes. Intrusive movement detected on, our, our, on outer perimeter, monitoring. Intruders retreated without engagement, monitoring. Well, that was in 2000, and the last one is in 2107. So is it really worth reading all these old ones? Intrusive movement detected on auto perimeter monitoring. Crud repeatal creature identified as non-hostile monitoring to prioritized. Creature remains. Creature departs. Incidents uh, monitored without engagement. 1846 incidents involving security response five. Okay. Intrusive movement detected on outer perimeter. Capital creature approaches facility, deploying servitors. Intruder pacified. Incidents monitored without engagement. 2008 incidents involving security response 9. Uh, automated amendment intention was for intruder. Logging technological review request with information technology report 100. Okay, I guess we'll go through all of them. Intruder 32 returns to war room, starts fire for intruders 30, 31, 33. Intruder 34 is providing them with a meal. Uh, login requisition request for additional servitors. Following abduction of core servitors 005010 by intruder 11. This request has been logged 1500 times. Priority elevated. Uh, attempting to wake remaining servitors. Make. Uh, Wake attempt fail result in failure. Incidents monitored without engagement. Incidents involving security response 15. Incidents 
Failed security response is one instrument with an ability to respond 4,000. Uh, intruder 34 now classified as deceased. Okay. Two to go. System wake up complete. Uh, accessing database. No new information since catastrophic failure report. Corporate at in 1606-2071. Intruders 6973 logged in war group. Servitors now responding to wake up instruction monitoring. Intruder 71 has fully repaired monitoring systems. Intruder 69 has gained access to monitoring systems. Self diagnostic complete. Servitors 103, 22, and 616 were present but unresponsible or unresponsive, I guess it says. Primary power on res unresponsive, secondary power at 20%, primary processing ports, all goop, all good. Alright, last one. Intrusive mo movement detected at perimeter, intruder 159 logged and approaching. Intruder 158 detects, intruder 159 returns to barrack, various intruders seem pert perturbed and barricade door to barracks. Okay, so that's the guys in we talked to in the barracks, I guess. Through the 159 retreat, retreats after accessing war room and armory, servitors remain unresponsive. Through the 156 departs barracks, entering brig and access computer terminal. Horrible intruders. Through the 156 has initiated generator restart power coming online, servitors waking red, red alert. Okay, I guess that's us. All right, uh, so let's examine the personal personnel log. There are fewer logs than you'd expect for a base of this size. Many have suffered data corruption and are under coral, but you find a few that are legible. Uh, personal log, Colonel Fouchette, 22 March 1998. The world ended yesterday. Our missile defense system saved Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone and we can't make contact with anyone outside the state. Discipline will keep my men in line, but we only got a few days until the civilians panic. We need to prepare to ho hold out until we can reconnect with Washington. And that was it. Alright. And there's nothing else in here, is there? Uh, let's go up here and take a quick look. There's something there. Oh, and there's something there. Bullets and some spikes. Okay, do everything. And there was something down here. A rocket, some spikes, some energy cells, some Colorado, Colorado dollars, and a nose ring with boogers on it. Okay. see. <coughs> then we have these guys. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here worth looking at. Can we get in there? We can. Doesn't seem like there's really anything here. Colorado food. Food on these tables is cold and partially eaten but not rotten. It's clear someone recently fled mid-meal. I guess that's the people in the barracks. Uh, repair toaster. Failure requires toast repair th level 3. Okay. I'm curious about that toaster repair. I think we're going to have to skill someone up in that to see what the hell it is and why are we are repairing toasters. Need to fill you in on a few things, Rangers. Yeah, I know. Uh, we'll take a look around first, then you'll, you can fill us in. Mm -hmm. Let's open this door and take a look. Busted slicer dicer. I wonder if that's hostile. The 
There's a dead person. This terminal is displaying information about the base system. All seems normal right now. Uh, examine most recent activity logs. Terminals are on controls for some nearby vehicle lifts, but currently indicates they are all unresponsive. Quest issued, please wait. The round grinding emanates from the huge trapdoor near the garage's entrance. The smell of rusted metal sparkling fills the room. Mechanical failure reported. Servitor drone has been issued a repair order. Okay. I'm a little bit worried about that thing. Uh, the corpse of a young woman lies at your feet, her body contorted at an unnatural angle. Judging by the smell, she's been here for a while. Okay. Uh, try to determine how she died. The body's unnatural position suggests some kind of seizure, and there are signs of discoloration on her face indicative of heart failure. A heavy metal spanner is gripped tightly in her right hand. The middle is discolored and scorch marks blacken her fingertips. Okay. Looks to you like a textbook case of electrocution. Okay. Examine the corpse. Uh, the woman is wearing a patchwork jumpsuit and a leather tool belt. Her pockets are crammed with fuses, bundles of wire, and bits of surfboards. It looks like this wasteland they made her living by scavenging and repairing, uh, repairing electronics. She would have felt right at home in an old garage like this. Okay. Okay, let's uh, pick this lock. Repair kit. Loot everything. Okay. Let's try talking to this guy. Rusted slicer dicer. This enormous spider-like robot is in bad shape. It twitches in a puddle of its own fluids. It's casing indented and riddled with bullet holes. Judging by the scrape marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged it into the garage from somewhere else. Uh, examine the robot. You recognize it as a slicer dicer, a pre-apocalypse military robot. It appears to have been badly damaged in a firefight and is missing some of its weapons. On closer inspection, inspection, note that some of the bullet holes have been patched, and several of the legs show signs of recent welding. The slicer dicer's main access panels are open, revealing its wiring and power plant. It's clear that someone has been trying to repair the robot. Okay, we can't repair it. And we need mechanics. Anything else here? Click the locker. Automated chauffeur, twisted hydraulic, hydroskin panels, armor mod, leg belt, armor, nice. Plus 3% evasion, plus 1 armor, nice. The scrap and turret chassis. Okay, loot everything. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up to the minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics, 21st century solutions for the problems of today. Okay. In the wasteland, you'll find both weapon and armor mods. Installing mod will improve any equipment it's attached to, but once installed, they cannot be removed. To install a mod on one of your squad members must... To install a mod, one of your squad members must have the necessary weapon modding or armor modding skill. Okay. To install a weapon or armor mod, select the weapon or armor you want to upgrade and choose the modify option under it. Different mods require different armor or weapon modding skills, skill levels. The better the mod, the harder it is to install. Okay, and we don't have armor modding skills on any of them. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, uh, so uh, repair kit uh, and turret chassis. Nothing really else that interesting. Can we examine these polarites? No. Okay. So this is to outdoors where the there's this thing. We'll go check that out later. Oh, there's there's something there. Uh, okay, we need higher lock picking skills. Uh, this looks deadly. What the hell happened here? Uh, there's a pile of corpses in this corner. Mm, search for corpses of death. These people died in a, var in a variety of ways, most of them violently. Pulled holes in one, across the skull on another, cut throat on a third. Ankles and wrists and all of them are scarred as if they had been chained up for a while. Okay. This leathery corpse is missing several of his digits and facial features. Nice. It looks like exposure to extreme cold took this person's missing extremities. Scarring indicates that this may have happened multiple times over several years. But it wasn't the cold that killed him. Open wounds across his back indicate that he was whipped to death. Okay. You also notice the same scarring on his ankles and wrists as on the other corpses, most likely from manacles. The torn skin suggests that they were frequently moved. And this is... Pick lock, fairly lock picking, impossible, okay. Now let's head over here. Open this door. See what's in here. What the hell is that? Oh, explosives, okay. Let's go around them. Damn it. But I walked around it. Hmm. Okay, I guess we need to use this thing on him. Okay, that wasn't ideal. He still only has 18 health left, so we need to use this, I guess. Which isn't great. Okay, almost full health. Grenade box. Damn it. Uh, can we put you out somehow? Stop burning. How do we stop you burning? Okay, stop that itself. Okay. Uh, okay, the same thing. The only log you can find in this terminal raised to a massive data wipe from several decades ago. This terminal is displaying information about system systems. Okay, step away. Nothing there. I think we'll just send Sallow around and have a look because he has higher perception. There isn't really anything in here, except whatever whatever it was that we looted in uh, that grenade box, because I panicked a bit, to be honest. 
Okay, let's head out and take a look at that vehicle out there. We're completely out of med hypers. Greetings, Rangers. Systems active. Come in, November 1. This is Marcelo Gonzalez. I'm your eyes and ears all over Colorado. If something's going down, I'll be the one who lets you know about it. When okay. you come back, Sergei Gretzky will be your guy if you need to find recruits to fill out your squad. Also, Marshal Kwan wanted to let you know he'd like to tag along. He knows everything there is to know about the city. Okay. Nice to meet you, Gonzalez. This is all mine, November 1. Be sure to stop by again when you can. We'll be here. Oh, one last thing. We're lightly staffed right now. If you find people out there willing to join up, invite them to HQ. We have the room and can always use the help. Over and out. Okay. Let's go talk to these guys. I guess this is our tank that we'll be walking around in. What the hell was that? Need to check that. But we're going to have to talk to them next time because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.